let me get your take on hustle culture, <laughs> um, which has inspired a lot of people. A lot of people have transformed their lives. I know them personally through, whole, through hustle culture. The attitude of like, hey, stop just using your weekends to go to the beach and go to the movies and hang oh. out at parties. Start working, right? Like ignore the arbitrary nine to five and use the weekends to build a dream. Um, when, you, when, you, when you get off from your 12 hour job, come home 9 p.m., grind it out, learn something new, all that kind of stuff. People have changed their lives. And at the same time, there's a kind of pushback that's been coming. And a lot of people are saying, yeah, you can hustle, 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 but you're gonna run yourself into the ground. Mm -hmm. You're gonna die young. You're, gonna, you're trading in your health for that. What, what's your take on that debate? Do people, especially people that are younger, they don't yet have children and things like that, do you need to hustle, hustle to be successful? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it there. Well, I think that my perspective on time management when I was working kind of gives a hint of how I feel about that. I just, that, that's like the same, it's, I guess, would you say it's the same as if they're at a consulting firm and the partners tell their consultants that they need to be working 12 hours a day in order to make it or whatever that means? Would you say that's equivalent? I think it's pretty similar, yeah, I think right? So, yeah. so uh, I think that's stupid because Hours worked does not equal value added, right? So just because you work 70 hours a week doesn't mean there was actually 70 hours of value added. The same person, if they were specializing or just was better at managing their time, they could add the same amount of value in maybe half or one fourth of the time, right? And I think that's something that I figured out towards the end is that if you can you know, focus and get more done within a shorter amount of time, then you don't need to do like everyone else and you know, work hard just to work hard, right? So, um, and, but one caveat to that, I think, is when people do something they want, then maybe that 12 hours isn't really work. So that kind of goes against what I just said, but I think that, I mean, you know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna be unhappy playing if their passion is basketball, no one's going to be unhappy about playing basketball 12 hours a day, right? Yeah. Well, you're going to be doing something in your waking hours. And, and, I, and I guess the critical question is, are, are you doing this because you feel guilty when you're not doing it? Right. Because someone told you that you had to and you're resenting it, but yeah. you're doing it because you think I, in order to deserve yeah. to have value, I got to do it. Or are you doing it because it, it either makes you come alive or it expresses the creative dimensions of who you are some kind of way. Yeah. 